Hey friends, it's Noella aka Goldie Longlocks and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys the difference between this regular fishtail braid and then a reverse fishtail braid. So you guys can finally figure out how to recreate these looks you're seeing on Instagram and Pinterest or you can just pretend to know what you're talking about and gain some hair creds. So to get started, we're only going to need some elastic bands and then a texturizing product of your choice. Love me some Kenner Texturizing Taffy because it smells so good. It has some great hold, but today I'm actually going to use this Eva NYC Surf Up Texturizing Spray that I got from Beautycon. I should mention this smells amazing too, but I'll go ahead and spray it in my hair here and you can see how it instantly adds that texture and volume, which is going to be very, very helpful when we're pancaking the fishtail in a few. So I'll split my hair into two even parts and we'll start with the regular fishtail braid on this side. And we'll use a famous little trick here of starting with your hair in a ponytail. I just use one small elastic here and as with all braids, make sure that your hair is brushed out or this will be a little challenging. So I'll link my previous fishtail braid tutorial right here where I show you guys the point grip switch combined method. But as a reminder for the regular fishtail braid, you split the hair into two sections and you're going to start by grabbing a little piece of hair from the outside and crossing it over the front to combine it with the other side. Then you'll do the same thing on the other side, grabbing a small piece and combining it with the opposite side. And that's the simple step all the way down. Remember fishtail braids do take a little bit longer than normal braids, so I'll speed this up a little. So I'll slow it down right about here and now you can see that main pattern that tells you that this is a regular fishtail braid. So do you see how the hair makes that V or herringbone pattern? Anytime you see the hair forming into a V shape or a downward pointing arrow, then you know it's a regular fishtail braid. So I'll wrap this up here and bear with me because I put in some Lexi hair extensions before starting this tutorial just to add some length and volume. So it may take a little longer than normal to braid to the bottom, but fishtail braid really looks so rad when you have a lot of hair. And that's also the beauty of pancaking your braids or pulling them out to look bigger. I swear, the PMP, the mix of product and pancaking your fishtail braid can give hair lots of deceiving volume. So before we do that, look at the braid while it's tight with this very distinct V or herringbone shape. So I'm gonna carefully break off the rubber band, don't tear any hairs with it, and then I'll do my first round of pancaking here. Okay, so now let's get started on our reverse or inverse fishtail braid and the setup for this variation is the same as the others. So split your hair into two strands. Now you're grabbing a tiny section of hair from the outside of the strand, but instead of taking it in the front, you're going to take it behind to combine with the opposite strand. Same thing on the other side, so grabbing a small section of hair, take it behind and combine it with the other strand. We'll go slow a couple more times here. So grab a small section, take it behind, combine with the other strand. Small section, behind, combine with the other strand. So as you can see, this looks like a whole lot of nothing in the beginning. It takes a lot longer to form than the regular fishtail braid. So let me speed it up a bit here. So I'll go ahead and slow it down right here because you can see the fishtail forming and I'll point out a couple of things. I happen to like this variation almost better, dare I say, because when you're choosing which small sections to grab and pull behind to the other strand, you can really see what hair to grab to make it even with the other side. And you can work all the way down grabbing very even sections of hair. And the second thing I'm gonna point out is the shape, which yes, it's the exact opposite of the regular fishtail. It's an upside down V or an arrow pointing up. All right, enough of this braiding. I'll finish it up and see you in a hot sec. Okay, just like we did on the other side, really look at the arrows pointing up or the upside down V shape. This means it's not a regular fishtail, but a reverse one. I removed my elastic and did a first round of pancaking to make it even with the other side. And now we can do a direct comparison here. So looking at the screen, the right, is the regular fishtail and the left is the inverse or reverse fishtail and when they're both right next to each other like this it's very easy to see the difference in arrows pointing up and down and fishtails are such a popular braid that you see all over instagram and pinterest right now but this trick is actually going to help you recreate them to a t 
I thought of making this tutorial because a lot of people still don't know the difference between the two and whenever I wear an inverse fishtail out, people love it. Not to me, I think, is because the way the hair lays in the reverse fishtail, not only does it give it more volume because it's poofing outwards, but I also find it doesn't fall out as easy. And you can really see what I mean right here. So for fun, I'm pancaking both braids as much as I can, really grabbing the outside strands and pulling them out. Kinda like you're playing the accordion. <laughs> So here they are and they both look great from far away, but when you get a little closer, not only does the reverse fishtail feel a little more intact, but it also starts looking a little neater yet still bubbly, whereas the regular fishtail on our right has started to fall apart a little more and starts looking uneven. But both fishtails are gorgeous and now that you're a fishtail expert, let me know in the comments below which braid you like better and you would wear. Give this video a big thumbs up if you learned something new today. Subscribe for lots more videos to come. Love you guys. Goldie Longlocks out.